away from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I'm at Aurora Village today. This is one that I tried to install midway through my last playthrough and it didn't really work. Um, so this is a mod by M. Nick Jom. I have no idea how he pronounces his name, but he's also the same person that did Tristan Shack and Voyage to the Dreamborn Isles um, that I was so enamored of, and also the ancient mausoleum. So I'll show you where we are. Just here on Lake Ilanalta, not too far down from the Guardian Stones, as you can see, I've not yet got lake view. And there's North Shriek Bastion, which is right behind us. So this place, it's uh, quite a fabulous village, actually. As you can see, there are guards roaming around. Houses and shops and merchants. Followers and marriage partners. And even a player home. Just show you one of the shops. Huh. Take a look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. As you can see, it's very um. Uh, it's now almost as if it's glad to see. always been here. Oh, you know. A bit of this and a bit of that. Here you go, dude. <laughs> it's very camera hungry lately. Okay, so she's got 759 gold and a fair assortment of things. See ya. Yeah. It's quite charming and you know, I won't go bother going into all of them because there there are quite a few and merchants, etc. Like I say, there's a pub. I'll show you the pub. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drink, and warm bed. Now each time I've come in here there's actually been nobody in here, so I'm assuming that Everyone gathers at night. It's for all the world, as if you're in the pub in Riverwood, isn't it? <laughs> Just a few little decorative changes. And that's about it. But it's nice. So the player home, I, I got quite excited about the idea of having a, a new player home, but actually it's quite kind of mundane, if I'm honest. I'll show it to you anyway. Beautiful spot, isn't it? Oh my god, my lake is so bald compared to my last game where I had everything going on. So this is it. This is our place, Lakeside Cottage. But to get it, you can't just sort of turn up and buy it. You have to earn it in a way. As you go around the village, the Hall of the Dead. I can find it again. This was yesterday. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Yeah, it was yesterday that I did this. I tried to record this last night, but for whatever reason, my OBS just completely spazzed out on me. That's my recording software. And it... Oh, when Inigo prays, melts my heart. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I uninstalled it, I reinstalled it. It was a complete pain in the A. And every now and again, it just does that. Like, every six months, it just spazzes. So, when you come down here, there are a couple of mobs to kill. Nothing too hectic. Things everywhere. Oh, I do love a good catacomb. I've never seen a better cat catacomb than those under the town of Kinos in EverQuest 2. They are just brilliantly done. I love them. This is all right. So from here into the underground, a couple of skeevers to kill. How did you do that? <laughs> um, and then this dude comes at you, Volrund. He's got the key. Quite the little story that goes with it, so that's enjoyable. Oh, it's sad. So many sad mods I've seen lately. <laughs> so, Enchanter and Alchemy Lab. I don't know if those bodies are going to stay there forever. I really hope not. Because, you know, if I was going to live here, I would not want them hanging around in my basement. I should check, actually, to see if the story allows you to bury them. It could well be that it does. Okay, and then you're home. 
always gets there before me. There we go. All right, so kitchen. Got an oven and a cooking pot. Whole bunch of stuff to use and take. See what I mean? It's very um, vanilla. Butter churn, a little bar. And then one of those beds. Nice chest. Oh, box requires key. Oh, I wonder if my key will open it. Nope. Duh. Ah, there it is. Didn't have to look very far. Okay, so a circlet and a silver ring. Not really worth it. Okay, here's the diary. And find the doll. Eat all the sweet rolls I can. Okay, so there's obviously a bit more to this than I even thought, which is great because I just love a quest that, you know, a house that has a quest that comes with it. And then last but not least, this wonderful view. And your neighbour and their boat. It's nice, isn't it? Like I say, it's really nothing special, but it's nice to have a home. Especially as at the moment, you know. I wonder what new excitements the rest of the day has planned for us. I don't have Lakeview yet, so. Oh, this poor guy. Living in this state. Whenever I see buildings like this, I always wish that there was some way to assist in rebuilding, you know? But the village, I really like this on my landscape. It's beautifully behaved. I've had no crashes. Everything's been completely seamless. And there is so much to it. Like I say, there's six trainers, seven shops and or merchants, um, eight potential marriage partners if you're into that kind of thing, a um, couple of followers. So, yeah, and a quest. So I'll carry on with that, but I'll leave you with this view. And call that the end of this wee video and say thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks to Fats for reminding me about this place because I'd completely forgotten about it. And I will see you soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe, everybody.